in your abilities But everyone has a special talent in which they can believe Hi, my name's Joanne, but you can call me Bubble Mom and I'm here for a special issue of The Children's Corner. We have a great show for you today. I hope you enjoy it. Don't go anywhere. You're going to learn some neat stuff. Ready or not, here I come. Mm. Mm. We, we see, see you, Gordy. Gordy. Oh man, I can't play this game. That's okay, Gordy. Everybody's different. You're supposed to be shaped like that. We're round all over. Bodies come in all shapes and sizes. What's important is that you get exercise and eat healthy, fresh foods. Like what you get from a farm. Peaches. Watermelon. Strawberries. <gasps> well, this is awkward. It's cool. It's sweet. Fresh from the farm. Let's eat. Let's go to a farm. Hi, welcome back. I'm going to teach you a magic trick now, and I'll have something special for you to learn. And let's see if you could figure it out before the end of the show. Today's magic trick is called the magic banana. Now, this is a banana, just a regular old banana that you would get at any store. And that's all it is, just a regular banana. But it's a magic banana. Well, it's not. What's magic is my invisible sword. And my invisible sword is going to cut the banana into slices. <laughs> See? Now, this banana has never been opened. It's still just a regular banana. Do you think? Not really. All I have to do is peel this. And look, it's all sliced. <laughs> the banana's already been sliced. How did that happen? See? Flat, just like just like the magic sword had cut into it. How did I do it? Can you figure it out? I'll let you know at the end of the show. Bye. Hey, welcome back. I've got a couple friends here with me. I don't know if you know it, but my name, Bubble Mum, that's because I'm a clown. And along with doing clowning stuff, I do face painting and I do puppetry. This is Callie Coon. I like shiny things. And this is Zervon Tiger. Hi there. Now, Zervon likes to say poetry. Let's see, do you have a poem that you want to say? Okay, what, what is it going to be? Okay. Okay, he's going to do a poem about birds. Right? Okay. Birdie, birdie, in the sky. Why do you do that in my eye? Birdie, birdie, in the sky. Boy, I'm glad that cows can't fly. The end. Okay, very <laughs> good. Now, Callie here. Callie's a lot of fun. She has a fun hat. I have a fun hat. She likes shiny necklaces. And she likes anything that's shiny. She sometimes steals stuff that's shiny. And she sometimes will go into trash cans because that's where she likes to eat. Yes, it is. I like chocolate, too. <laughs> okay. Callie sometimes sings. Sometimes she says poems. Sometimes I don't know what she's going to say next. So what do you want to say today? I don't know. You're talking. Thanks. Um, I know. What is it? What is your favorite thing to eat? Chocolate. You gotta lay off the chocolate. Why? Well, look at your teeth. I have teeth. See? Grrr. I have teeth. Oh. Brush your teeth, kids. Well, it's time for us to take another break, so I'm gonna let these guys go take a rest. Imagine being a hero. Imagine fighting the bad guys, saving the world, all that good stuff. Now imagine fighting an enemy you can't see or touch. Colors everywhere. Some are here and some are there. Say that. Colors, colors everywhere. Some are here. Some are there. Say red, red, red. Red, red, red. Say black, black, black. Black, 
black, black. Say blue, blue, blue. Blue, blue, blue. Say brown, brown, brown. Brown, brown, brown. Say red and black and blue and brown. Say that. Red and black and blue and brown. Watch this. When I say red, you put your hands on your head. And when I say black, you put your hands on your back. And when I say blue, you put your hands on your shoe. And when I say brown, you turn your hands all around. You say the same thing I said. All Go. Right. When I say red, put your hands on your head. Uh huh. When I say black, put your hands on your back. Uh huh. When I say blue, put your hands on your shoe. Uh huh. When I say brown, turn your hands all around. Welcome back. We have a real special guest here. This is the Kinderman. <laughs> and the Kinderman always says, Flawless. Call the police. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself, because that's well, amazing. Well, I've been working with children and storytelling and singing and dancing for 30 years. As a matter of fact, I was a school teacher for 17 years before I got into entertainment outside. I was dancing, I was singing, I was acting. And as a matter of fact, my mother told me that, because my mother was an actress and a dancer, she said that when she had gotten pregnant with me, she said she danced all the time and sang with me in the womb. And when I came out, my mother said, the doctor told him, he danced out of the womb. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been dancing and singing all the time. You know, I was a teacher too. Oh, yeah. I taught first grade and I taught art for, for first graders through fifth graders. And I think that anybody can learn art. It's just, it's a natural part of you, and people say, I can't draw. Well, that's, th that's okay. You don't have to know how to draw. Right. Because what you have to learn, what you really have to learn in order to do any kind of art, is how to see. Once you learn how to see, you can draw anything. So what else have you done? Well, I've... Besides singing and dancing. Well, I've had a TV show Ooh. for about eight years, and I had a lots of children singing and dancing on it. And then... As a matter of fact, when I was teaching school, I taught elementary school, middle school, high school, I taught at the college, but I was teaching dance in the summertime because we didn't get paid as a teacher, and I taught disco. And while I was teaching disco, I lived in Columbia, it became very popular, and guess who lived in Columbia with me? Oprah Winfrey. Ooh. And she had a TV show called People Are Talking. And she invited me to come on there and teach her, her co-sponsor. It was Richard Scher and her doing a show called People Are Talking. And they wanted me to teach them how to do the hustle, the disco hustle. <laughs> that was amazing because I went on her show and the Fred Astaire studio saw me teaching on Channel 13 at that time. And they called me and said, listen, how much would you charge for me to come in and teach my teachers how you teach? Because it's such a magic way of teaching that anybody could dance. I said, if they had, then some people came out and said, Kinder Man, it, no, I was called Disco King then. If the <laughs> Disco King had a table, he could make a table dance. Well, anyway, I went on <laughs> a show with Oprah and Richard Scher teaching them to dance. Fred Storch Studio said, listen, if you come and teach my teachers how to dance, I pay you any amount of money you want. I said, well, I can do it until September because I go back to school teaching. They said, what do you make? I said, 18000 They said, if you quit today, we give you $50,000. <gasps> I quit that day. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> Went down there. <laughs> Don't have to teach you what a good deal is. But that's what it was. I came out of teaching and got into disco, and they called me the Disco King. I taught about 70,000 people that year because everybody wanted to do the disco. The mothers, oh, I remember those times. It was fun, fun, disco, fun. Disco, disco. But the problem was I had gotten to the point where I thought I was be making that kind of money forever. Disco lasted two years and I didn't have a job. Aww. So I had to reinvent myself and guess what I saw? I saw, I couldn't even understand the word, but they said disco is followed by aerobics. I said, what's aerobics? It's an exercise. I had Joan Fonda. Get down with Joan Fonda. I said, get down. I went to see the program of aerobics, and they went. I said, I can do that. <laughs> I reinvented myself. I had a little cap. I was weighing 175 pounds, 
and I call it international aerobics. I became the aerobic czar. I was at <laughs> 15 classes a week doing aerobics, aerobics. And, and that must have slimmed you down even oh, further. If you're, doing, if you're doing 15 classes, you don't just tell them what to do. You it have was to show fantastic. them and do it with them. I had the women come in there, and they were dancing. I had a few men, too, but they wanted to get down with the kin, uh, the aerobic czar. <laughs> and it was amazing because aerobics lasted for a while. It was still a lasting. But then the Wolf Trap Foundation called me and they said, listen, can you work with children and movement and dance? I said, sure. If they're alive, I could do that. <laughs> Went with the Wolf Trap the Head Start program and I saw what the kids were doing. They said, we want you to help the teachers teach through the arts, music, dance, and drama. And I was called a music sponsor. I mean, a specialist, teacher specialist. Got into the classroom. Started working in 81 with the Head Start program from Wolf Trap. And uh, they started sending me all around the country. And I was in Chicago teaching a class. And they were introducing each, by the, each person as an as a, a artist. And when it got to me, they would say, what's your name? And the thought came, I'm Kinderman. They said, Kinderman? I said, yes, mm -hmm. I'm from Kinderland. I said, you know Batman? <laughs> you know Spider-Man? <laughs> And now you know the Kinder Man. And I said I would never change that name until it got all over the country. And <laughs> next thing you know, I was Kinder Man. And that's how I became the Kinder Man. That's fascinating. That really is. You have a great story to tell. We're going to take a little break right now, but we'll be right back. Who knows where milk comes from? The refrigerator! Before that, the grocery store! Why don't we visit a farm and see where milk really comes from? Yeah, yeah. It's always a good idea to get down to the root of things. Let me try. My turn. My turn. Visiting a farm is a great way to learn. It's an utter sensation. Hey, give the udders a turn. Get it? Udders. It's cool. It's sweet. Fresh from the farm. Let's eat. Let's go to a farm. Well, welcome back. And Kinderman, is there anything else you'd like to share with us today? Well, i tell you what, I'd like to share my lunch with you. Oh, I'd love to. I'm starving. Let's go. Well, can you get my, my, my basket? Will someone bring me my lunch basket, please? Let's see, what you got? Peanut butter and jelly? How'd you guess? I don't know. I got a jelly. peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But let I, me get. I make my own jelly. Let me get my peanut butter and jelly sandwich out of here because I am starving. I didn't have breakfast this time, but I bought me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in my lunch basket, and I'll share it with you. Whoa. Wait a minute. That doesn't sound like no peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yeah, I usually talk back. Chicken nuggets? Oh my tender. It's the little red head. What are you doing in my left basket? Oh, you wanted to see who invited me here? She did. How do you do? Here, let me shake your wing. <laughs> Oh no, I don't want to sing. I want to get my peanut butter and jelly sandwich out of here. What? Yeah. You want me to sing a song for her? No, I want to get my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Alright, she want me to sing her song to you. It's called the Little Red Hen song. Alright. Well, that sounds good. There was a little red hen that lived on a farm. All day long she walked around the barn. She was searching and scratching for something to eat. One day she found one, eight grains of wheat. Can you count eight? Count eight. One, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She was just about to gobble it up. All of a sudden she stopped abrupt. A good idea came into her head. She said, I'll turn this wheat into a loaf of bread. But who's going to help me plant the wheat? What? Who's going to help me plant the wheat? What? Who's going to help me plant the wheat? I, I guess I have to ask all the friends that I meet. Oh, no, no. I can't wait for your friends. You, you hold her. Okay. I'm going to get my peanut butter and jelly sandwich because I am starving. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. oh, no. Oh my goodness, it's, it's a duck. Quack, quack. Oh listen, duck, the little red hen wants you to help her plant the wheat. Will you help her plant the wheat? Not I, said the duck. I must go for a swim. 
But there's a dog in there. Why don't you ask him? A dog? Wait a minute. I don't eat no dog sandwiches. I'll show you. I got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in here. Oh no! Oh, no! There's a dog in there. You want to see it? Oh look! It's a little Dalmatian. Oh, I like little Dalmatian. She licked me in my face. I don't like no dog licking. Stop! Little red hen, tell the dog don't lick me in my face. Don't lick him in the face. Oh, I'm sorry. I won't lick him in his face. I'll just give him. Yeah. Dog she kissed me dog in my germs. mouth. Oh my dog goodness. Germs. Little dog, talk to her. Don't kiss man in his face. He doesn't like that. What do you want no. me to do? Would you help me plant the wheat? Not I said the dog. I must look for my bone. But there's a kitty cat in there. She's all alone. A kitty cat? Oh no. There's a kitty cat in there. I don't eat no kitty cat sandwiches. There's no kitty cat sandwich in there. I got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'll show you. You want me to open it? Okay, I'm still you, hungry. I tell you what, you count ten and I'll open it. One, One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I said it's Spanish. Uno, <laughs> dos, tres. Cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Chinese? Oh, wow, well, but there's no kitty cat sandwich in there. I'll show German. you. German? No, it's no. I could do German. I have, there's no candy cat sandwich in there. I'll show you. Quiet. There's a kitty cat sleeping in there. Cat's you want to see a secret? You want to see a sleep? Count three and I'll open it. Don't make it count softly. Say, one, two, three. I'll open it. I'll show you are sleeping. Wait a minute. Be quiet. I'll pick her up. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you up, but she wanted to see you sleeping. Oh, listen, the little red hen wants you to help her plant the wheat. Will you help her plant the wheat? Now, no, I said to Kitty Cat, I must sleep in the sun, but if she does it herself, the job will get done. I'm going back to sleep. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you up. You go back to sleep. What's wrong? What? Oh, what's wrong? You don't have anybody help you plant the wheat? Will you help her plant the wheat? Sure. Okay, repeat after me. Say, dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. Say, dig up the dirt. Dig up the dirt. Say, plant the wheat. Plant the wheat. Say, cover it with dirt. Cover it with dirt. Say, add some water. Add some water. Say, ch 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 Say, add some sunshine. Add some sunshine. Shine, shine, shine. Shine, shine, shine. Oh, the wheat's growing up. The wheat's growing up. Who's going to help me cut the wheat? Will you help her cut the wheat? Say, cut, cut, cut. Cut, cut, cut. Say, cut the wheat. Cut the wheat. Say, grind the wheat. Grind the wheat. Say, make some flour. Make some flour. Oh, you got some flour? Okay, when I count three, throw me a pinch of flour here, and I'll give it to a little red hen. One, okay. two, three. Throw it up here. <laughs> ah! That on my clothes! Oops. Little red hen, she threw flour on my clothes by mistake. Oh, here. <laughs> what? You need something else? What do you need? She needs a pinch of salt. Throw me a pinch of salt a little bit here. <laughs> Not in my eyes! Oh my goodness! She's just thought in my eyes by mistake. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. Okay. What? One more thing? What do you need? She wants one egg. Give me an egg, please. Just one egg. Shouldn't she give you the egg? She wants you to give it to me. <laughs> Call, I don't lay eggs. Call the police. <laughs> give me the egg, please. Throw it. Uh, give me the egg. <laughs> Here, little bit. Here's a kid. Okay, you got it? I'm going to bake the bread. Okay, thank you. Go bake the bread. I can't. Quack, quack, quack. Can I have some bread? Wait a minute. Did the duck help the little red hen? What was she doing? Swimming. Tell her, go get wet. Go, go get, get wet. wet. You didn't help the little red hen. We helped him. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're on 
mouth. Can I have some bread? Wait a minute. Did the dog help the little red hen? Ooh. What was she doing? Sleeping? Running no. around? She was looking for a bone. Tell her go find looking a bone. Looking for a bone. Tell her go find a bone. Go find go a bone. bone. Meow. Can I have some bread? Wait a minute. Did the cat have the little red hen? Not at all. What was she doing? She was sleeping in the sun. Tell her go back to sleep. Go, go back, back to, to sleep. sleep. The bread's ready. You want to give everybody two slices? You want to give her two slices of bread to make a sandwich? Okay, I'll give her two slices of bread to make a sandwich. Here, take one, two, make a sandwich. When I count three, we're going to eat our sandwich. One, two, two. three. Eat your sandwich. Say delicious. Delicious. Don't talk with food in your mouth. Eat your sandwich. Say nutritious. <laughs> Don't talk with food in your mouth. Oh. When I count three, we'll eat it all up. One, two, three. Eat it up. Let's give the little red hit a big clap for her story. Thank you. Goodbye. Go Go back. Give the oh, give the dog a clap. Give the cat a clap. Give the duck a clap. Thank you. Thank you. And that's the story of the little Thank red you. hen. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna put them back in the basket. You can okay. Me. I guess that all the animals from the little red hen are gonna go now. And I didn't get a peanut butter and sandwich. And I didn't get a sandwich either. Let's go get something to eat. We'll that's be a good right idea. back. That's a good idea. We'll be right back. Hey, Gordy. Hey, Couch. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody stop the ride. I'm going to the farmer's market. Want to come? Gee, Cornelia, I don't feel so good. You'd feel better if you ate fresh, healthy food from the farm, like peaches or watermelon. Sweet. I've never eaten a real peach before. Well, let's go. Look, there's all sorts of yummy stuff to eat at your local farmer's market. What's the matter, guys? How do you open the wrapper? It's cool. It's sweet. Fresh from the farm. Let's eat. Let's go to a farm. Welcome back. We're here still with the Kinderman, and we've had a lot of fun today with the stories and the puppets. And Kinderman, knock, knock. Who's there? Scott. Scott who? It's got to be a better knock-knock joke than this one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Kinderman, do you have anything else you'd like to share with us? Maybe a special song? Well, I have a goodbye song. Ooh, okay. I, I started this song about, oh, actually, 30 years ago, and now I have it in 15 languages. It goes like this. Friends, friends, one, two, three. All my friends are here with me. You're my friend. You're my friend, you're my friend, you're my friend, friends, friends, one, two, three, all my friends are here with me. Sing it again, ready, go. Friends, friends, one, two, three, all my friends are here with me. You're my friend, you're my friend, you're my friend. You're my friend, friends, friends, one, two, three. All my friends are here with me. Wait a minute, I'm going to sing another language, see if you know this language. Listen. Ami, ami, un, deux, trois. Tous mes amis sont assis avec moi. Tu es mon ami, tu es mon ami, tu es mon ami. Tu es mon ami, ami, ami. Un, deux, trois. Tous mes amis sont assis avec moi. What language is that? French. Oh! Okay, I'll do another language. Amigos, amigos, uno, dos, tres. Todos mis amigos están aquí. Tu eres mi amigos, tu eres mi amigos, tu eres mi amigos. Tu eres mi amigos, 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 uno, dos, tres. Todos mis amigos están aquí. What language is that? Spanish. Oh, okay, I'll do one more language. Deutsch. Aha, Stein, Schloss, Achbar, Kohavel, Rupo, Ita. Atahavel, 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 Aha, Stein, Shalosh, Alaba, Kohavel, Rupo, Ita. What language? Arabic. <coughs> hmm. I don't know. Hebrew. 
Zero. Zero. Yeah. <laughs> it's Middle Eastern. I came close. You close. Okay. <laughs> Give me a close award. Click, click. <laughs> well, that's my goodbye song. And usually I say, goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, 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 bye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. See you next time. See you next time. I'll 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 see you next time. May love go with you. May love go with you. May love go with you. Call the police. <laughs> <laughs>